This right here is my Nikon D810 with a 24 to 70 2.8, and this is probably a 10 to 12 year old setup and even an older lens on there. The biggest misconception on Instagram and on TikTok is you need the best and the baddest cameras to take dope shots. So let me show you this real quick, then I'll show you the final edit. I'm just shooting at 500, 2.8 at 24 millimeters. If you guys know photography, that's a pretty common setup for midday. So let's go check out the edit. So when it comes to editing, I use Lightroom on my phone. So let's start off with lighting on the bottom right here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn up the exposure a little bit because it looks a little bit dim. And then we're gonna turn down the highlights. You see the sky come in? Okay, so I'm gonna turn down the highlights. You don't wanna turn it down too much because it looks kind of artificial. Same with shadows. If you turn up the shadows too much, it looks super fake. So a lot of people actually turn up the shadows and they add a lot of clarity. You wanna avoid doing that because it looks super fake. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of whites. The whites make it pop a little bit more. Okay, and then the blacks, same thing. If you want the uh, the blacks to be more gray or really crushed black, usually I leave that zero for this type of shot. And that's pretty much it with exposure on this side. And then I'm gonna go to coloring on the bottom here. Now the temperature here looks pretty okay because it is kind of a cloudy day, but let me turn that up to maybe about 51 or 52K, okay? So on the top right there, it says the Kelvin. Now saturation, you can saturate this as much as you want or a little bit. I'm just gonna saturate just a little bit right there. On the top right here, it says mix, I'm gonna mix. And then I'm gonna turn down the yellows just a little bit because this bike is more orange than anything. See that? So I'm gonna turn up the orange just a smidge or maybe halfway. And then turn up the greens because there's a lot of greens in the background, okay? And it looks kind of mute. So I wanna turn that up so it looks good. And then on the bottom right here, it says crop. This is where you correct all your cropping. So I usually use the light post in the background as a reference because usually that's how you know that you're parallel with, you know, the earth. So I'm gonna take that, all right? That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna give it some effects. So on the bottom right here, it'll give you, you know, clarity. So you can overdo the clarity to make it look super artificial. I don't really like that, but a lot of newbies will do that. So I'm just gonna go maybe about 34% for this one. Maybe go back to color here and add a little bit more saturation. And this is all trial and error, to be honest, because you make one adjustment, it applies to a bunch of other things. So there you go, and that looks pretty good. And now here's my before, and that's my after. To summarize this lesson, I highly suggest you guys get good lenses versus a really good body because a lot of people think that the body or the camera itself is the most important aspect. It's actually not. It's the lens and your editing style.